Grateful Dead members to reunite with Branford Marcellus at Lockenfest 2018. A Grateful Dead Lay career highlight will be celebrated during on August 26, when Lachn Indipos, festival headliners Dead and Company, featuring John Meyer with former Dead members Bob Weir, Mickey Hart and Bill Kreutzmann, will reunite with jazz veteran Branford Marcellus, whose collaboration with the band at Long Island and Indipos Semicolon S. Nassau Coliseum in March 1990 has become one of the Dead and Indipos Semicolon S. most legendary shows. With the upcoming release of the Dead's 23 disc set Spring 1990, the other one, the jazz legend recalls his Nassau Coliseum guest spot Marcellus, the saxophone playing member of New Orleans and opposed semicolon S. Marcellus Jazz Dynasty, joined the Dead in 1990 after he was invited by bassist Phil Lesh to sit in for one song, Bird Song. Jerry Garcia and Robert Hunter and opposed semicolon s point intelligy to their recently deceased friend Janis Joplin. Marcellus had only minimal knowledge of the dead and opposed semicolon s repertoire, but stayed on stage for the rest of the evening, his lyrical soprano and bluesy tenor lines inspiring them during the entirety of the 90-minute second set, from a blissful eyes of the world to an elliptically rocking estimated prophet. I was an anthropologist that night. Just checking this shit out, Marcellus told Rolling Stone and opposed semicolon S. David Frick in 2014. But it was a serious throwback to how I view music. There was an opposed semicolon T a set list. They barely spoke to the audience. And the audience didn't and opposed semicolon T perceived it as disrespectful. The crowd was there to listen. The collaboration was released as Wake Up to Find Out, Nassau Coliseum. Union Dale NY3 slash 29 slash 90. Bob Weir, for one, eagerly awaits their reunion at the Arrington, Virginia, event. As I've always said, if we're not having fun, we're not doing our job, he noted. With Branford, at Lock and Depos, I'll expect we'll be working overtime. Marcellus, who ended up jamming with the dead and a couple of its offshoots several times following his Nassau debut happily accepted their invitation. I still remember fondly my time playing with the Dead in 1990, he said, and this latest iteration of the Dead aesthetic is filled with great musicians. I look forward to making music with them. The collaboration represents the kind of left-field, historically conscious programming that Lock and Oppose has become known for over the last six years. This year an Oppose semicolon s edition of the Fest which runs from August 23rd through the 26th, also features jam scene vets like Ted Esky Trucks Band and Lettuce Plus Toots and the Maidles, George Clinton and P-Funk, Cheryl Crow and more. In another twist this year, the festival and opposed semicolon s promoter producer Peter Shapiro has enlisted drummer Jason Bonham, son of John Bonham, to join Umfrey and opposed semicolon s McGee for an entire set of Led Zeppelin music. For Umfrey and Depose Semicolon S, it and Depose Semicolon S a big deal, the band has been working Zeppelin covers into its sets for years. They and Depose Semicolon Re one of our biggest influences, guitarist Brendan Bayless says. We technically have three drummers in the band, and I guarantee you that all three would say John Bonham taught them more about rock and roll than any other drummer. Getting the opportunity to play with Jason is another example of Pete asking, and oppose semicolon how can we make this place go off question mark and oppose, Shapiro organized 2015 and oppose semicolon s massive fare the well concerts that united the dead and oppose semicolon s surviving members with fish and oppose semicolon s Threa Anastasio. Now he and oppose semicolon s helped assemble a new dead offshoot. Joe Russo and Oppose Semicolon S Almost Dead, a strikingly energetic dead cover band led by the powerhouse drummer for Lush and Weir and Oppose Semicolon S Further Band, which toured from 2009 to 2014. Russo and Oppose Semicolon S Group will make its third Lock in Oppose appearance this summer. Weir sat in with them for five songs last year, and has quietly been selling out multi night stands across the country. In an age when hip-hop and pop really dominate everything, this scene continues to percolate, Shapiro says, the Grateful Dead thing is maybe stronger now than it was a couple years ago.